Um, uh, what is it that we're doing here again? We were posted out here to stand watch. Oh no, I got that. I meant, what are we, the Decepticons, doing out here in this random field? Oh, that I don't know. So, did you catch what the boss was saying about the new revolutionary way to kill the auto- ah! No! I didn't get to hear the new revolutionary- ah! Come to me, my sparks. Soon the time will come for you to join the cause. What the bloody hell was that? Find whoever did that! FIND THEM! Autobots, a dreaded day is nearly upon us. All Hallows Eve, or Halloween for short. Let me be very clear on something. No one is to dress up, play tricks or treats, or throw fucking eggs at me. Anyone who does will be met with immediate death. Is that understood? So you're saying no Halloween fun on Halloween, yeah? Th that is correct. Okay, you heard the boss everyone, no bullshit on Halloween. Which means we're doing it all now! What the fuck? Suck eggs, motherfucker! I'll celebrate Halloween with a purge! Stop or I'll do it! I'm gonna go get into costume! No! I'm gonna go craft scary stories from real life horrific experiences from my workshop. Dear God, why? I'm gonna set fire to myself in the base, killing hundreds of people in the process! Well, maybe I'll not that exactly, but I'll do something else seasonally spooky. Countdown, I was gonna watch Ghostbusters tonight if you or anyone wants to join me. Ghostbusters? Ha! No. What's wrong with Ghostbusters? Don't even get me started on Bill Murray, the whore. Bill Murray is the most overrated, pompous cocksucker in the movie industry. Watching even a second of the movie Groundhog Day makes my eyes bleed for a total of 35 minutes straight. I want to kill myself and stab myself in the testicles repeatedly every time I hear the word Bill, and especially every time I hear the word Murray. Countdown? Shut up! Oh, so you're a Bill Murray fan. Now I know what it feels like to be betrayed by my own faction. No. Your rant is just sucking the life of this buzz I've been working on. Actually, that was just the lights. Your rant is sucking the life out of the power grid itself. Shut the fuck up before I'm forced to go a day without my favorite romantic daytime television show. Your what? Forget I said anything. Which one of you fucks replaced the base lights with huge changing lights? Because that was actually a good idea. I like it. We both know a dope idea like that would have come from me, but this isn't me. Oh no, the makings of any ghost movie ever. I think the base is haunted. Bullshit, it's not haunted. Haunted? Oh fuck! And now there's ghosts, huh? I know what's going on here with your fake ghost trying to psych yourselves up and torture me for Bill fucking Murray and his fake acting talents. Countdown! They're actual ghosts, you fuck! Actual ghosts? Oh, holy shit! Oh, now isn't that the biggest load of bullshit? Fucking Decepticons get to be ghosts and haunt the Autobots, but Optimus Prime won't let me go and torment the living Decepticons like in that one movie. Saw! So Oh my god! Oh no! Who was that guy? If this is to be our end, let this be our finest hour. Everybody for themselves! Oh hell, he beat me to it! 
the spear of the primes. How fortunate this prime isn't aware what diabolical treasures he hoards away. A dead end? I don't remember this. It's like the base transformed itself to fit the specifications of a horror film. If that's the case, then afterwards I intend to have words with this base about it drive shafting my ass again. Prime, not to worsen your mood, but seeing as how these ghosts kill living bots by draining their life force, and how we're the only ones in this dead end, I think it's safe to say they purge more efficiently than you. Bitch! Why would you tell me that now? You ordered me to inform you if I ever saw more efficient purging so you can adapt your strategies. Damn my foresight to hell! Do you like my new friends? Would you look at that? A serious Decepticon. I was half convinced there wasn't any left. While we are few in number, we exist, and we scheme. And occasionally, we act on those schemes. I'm sure you must be wondering what this one is. Allow me. You intend to raise an army of the undead to conquer the universe and the Decepticons in your name. Uh, that is actually correct. But I'm sure you must wonder why- Why you came here? That's simple. You see, the small number of Decepticon souls he's been able to collect have been collected by himself. Bots he's killed and claimed control over. Likely via some power or a device he's created. A cursed mask, actually. That would have been my next guess, actually. Anyhow, while these small number of ghosts are effective and seriously decrease on energy consumption for a military body, he is limited to only bots he has killed since acquiring this cursed mask, yeah? Therefore, at best, there will only ever be a limited number. That's why he seeks to break the barrier between the living and the dead, where thanks to a civil war spanning throughout the cosmos, there is an incalculable number of Decepticon sparks he can take control of once they reach Earth. He probably seeks to do this by performing a ceremony at a charged location of spiritual energy, using that spear we've had in lockup, you know, the one we occasionally use to reach something off the top shelves, which is probably made of a rare material that combined with this ceremony can absorb the supernatural energy in the surrounding area to cut through the spiritual barrier thus unleashing the floodgates of Cybertronian purgatory. Correct again, but you forgot one detail, and that is where this ceremony shall take place. Just where can one find that much spectral energy in a single location? Oh fuck! He's not a damn idiot, so there's no way he'll tell us. We can't stop him if we don't know. And chalk that up as one point for Optimus Prime. No, I won't tell you where. That would be counterproductive to my plans. He's doing it out back, behind the base in that open-ass field. <laughs> but I bet you can't guess when! 11 p.m. Fuck you! Fuck you, bro! No, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I can't allow a fuck you exchange without me! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, bitch! You went for the surprise murder and missed? What? It's not like I missed on purpose. But you have sealed the fates of you and your Autobots. Fetch me the sparks! Looks like this is the end. I'll see you all on the other side. Not a fucking Bill Murray quote! I'm gonna die listening to Bill Murray quotes! For the Autobots! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Well, Countdown is dead. Good riddance. Ah! I'm alive? Oh great, he's still sucking air. Lucky us. Is everyone okay? What? Was that you who defeated these ghouls? Yes, and my name is Ectotron. How did you do that? Conventional weaponry can't touch them. Yes, with this, the Proton Pact, used for ensnaring and deanimizing ghosts via the Proton Thrower, connected to this backpack-sized particle accelerator. Yada yada yada, science mumbo jumbo deatomizing. You deatomized the ghosts. Yes. By deatomizing them, you are basically ripping them apart at an atomic level, and their energy is expelled. So in short, it kills them. We need to be equipped with this tech now. 
It's difficult, but with the right scientific mind, I'm sure it will work. I'd like to volunteer my services. Chrome Dome and Brainstorm. Assist Ectotron in outfitting our gear with this ghost fucking tech. Oh, why not me? Because I don't even want to imagine the dastardly experimental devices that will malfunction if you even get a look at this tech. Maybe I can just sneak a peek? Huh. I didn't expect to enjoy that so much. Guess busting made me feel good. No fucking duh. You brained the guy. Let's get your gear upgraded first, Countdown. Very well. Autobot Ectotron. Oh, no, I'm absolutely not an Autobot. I knew it! A Decepticon infiltrating swine! I'm not a Decepticon either. Oh, gross! You're one of those sad neutral bitches, you poor soul, missing out on all that beautiful warfare. I'm a Ghostbuster. I've devoted my life to hunting the supernatural. A Ghostbuster? Like fucking Bill Murray? If you see that Bill Murray cob gobbler, you tell him Countdown is gonna hammer him. I think you and Chrome Dome will find it easier working in silence, yes? Appreciate it. The hour is upon us, my fallen brothers and sisters. The time has come to tear down that which separates the living plane and the dead plane. Come to me, Sparks. It is time for you to come home. That should do it. Alright, all of your weapons should have enough proton energy charged by my proton accelerator to last throughout the fight. Vision. Excellent. Here's the plan. Accompanied by Barricade, Countdown, and Ectotron, I will murder Tarn while looking badass doing it. That's not really much of a plan, Optimus. Believe me, this is more of a plan than we usually roll with. What about me and the other Autobots? Ah yes, you all play an essential part in this plan as well. I want you all to remain behind me and kill yourselves in the most violent and painful manner possible, preferably in the trash or pre-dug graves so that I, nor any likable characters, will have to bear witness upon your unsightly corpses. Oh. And of course, go fuck yourself while you're at it. Oh fuck, Prime! What? Ecto Tramp took his sweet ass time upgrading our shit, and now that ceremony has been going for like 20 minutes! Fuck, I hate being late! Okay, f it's fine, whatever! Look, look here, look, listen, Autobots! Let's transform and roll out, while Bumblebee and the other remaining piece of shit Autobots commit suicide under my direct orders. Hell, this has been going on rather long. Any time now. I do not have all night. Things to do, places to be, people to see. Any second now. Well, Primus J. Christ, at least something is happening. Ah, the Autobots are coming to play. Eliminate them! Buster. Holy shit, it's Barricade and Countdown Syndrome. Once again, where's my will Laird? Holy shit fuckery, the one and only Optimus Prime. Slaughterer of tons of sons of bitches, hmm? You don't rate that. You don't rate living. You missed again? You're lucky I'm having an off day. Normally, you'd have been murdered after the first attempt. I need to recalibrate my targeting systems, it seems. Ah, oh, you're just trash. Trash this, bitch! How are we gonna stop all these ghosts? Don't say bust them. 
Actually, I don't have a clue. I do then! Countdown! Kill every last undead Decepticon bitch! About fucking time! War crimes countdown, here I come! Let the slaughter begin! My mask! I cannot control the sparks anymore without my mask! Looks like you're on the menu too. No! You disturb the dead's peaceful rest. The dead don't like that. How the fuck are we gonna stop all these fucking ghost bitches? I'll tell them off. These ghosts are all dead. And being as familiar with death as they are means, they should be familiar with me. Prime, you're not death incarnate. I guarantee you I've killed 80% of these fucks. Gentlemen, I believe we have a predicament on our hands. Holy fuck. Is that something I never thought I'd see again? The ghost of my hopes and dreams, infused with all the hate and malice I've shown them over the years. Whoa, that's a... that's a big ghost. Additionally, I believe my overly abused alcohol processor is in there as well. Okay. Optimus Prime's alcohol processing unit. Good evening. As a duly designated representative of the planet Earth, I order you to return forthwith to your plane of origin, or to the nearest convenient parallel dimension. Nice try, Ectotron. But this thing only ever understands the fist in the boot. It's not going down! Hit it with everything you've got! You didn't even give it a chance to surrender! Never give up! Never surrender! Countdown. That's a motto for the Autobots, not our enemy. Wait, I'll just grab my nuke and blow that shit up. A nuke will not solve the problem! Oh, bullshit! Nukes solve all problems! Countdown? Where was that nuke targeted? Um, ah. Uh, where's the nearest low-income housing area? Countdown, what the fuck?! Oh, dear God. Uh, not to ask, but... Should we be worried about that? Nah, Barricade's got it. Let's focus on this giant ghost. Meanwhile, Countdown will drive his ass into the base, down the hall to the third door on the left, where he will proceed to dump boiling tar over his body, all while watching Groundhog Day starring Bill Murray. Ah, fuck! Fucking Bill bitch-ass Murray! Only I had a big enough trap that could contain this ghost. Give me your proton pack. It's a proton pack. I can't just give it to you. It's basically the equivalent of... Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Give me the protein pack or I'll boil you alive in piping hot tar. I have an abundance of it. Fine, take it, asshole. I'm gonna murder you. What was that? I said watch this. Bumblebee, bring me liquor. Prime, right now is not the time to get crunk! Liquor me, bitch! Are you dumping fucking liquor in my proton pack? That's what he's doing! What, uh, what'd you grab me anyway? Um, the bottle says Whistle Pig? Aw, oh, damn it, you grabbed the expensive shit! Whistle Pig Boss Hog? Whistle Pig Boss Hog Bourbon? 106 proof? NOT THE BOSS HOG! You got it, Prime! This bourbon is more of a spirit than you, Ghost! Whistle Pig Boss Hog Bourbon! Light my soberest hour! What's happening? Behold the power of the Primes! Liquor. I think that's the last of them. Not quite! For you see... Amidst the chaos, I have summoned a spirit so vile, so tremendously powerful it could shake the very earth with each step. 
a creature that will obey every one of my commands, including but not limited to my dynamic leadership of the Autobots, and the overdue murder of Barricade, that chump. Gaze upon my warrior, my champion, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man! Jeez, talk about cringe Ghostbuster fandom. I'm not a fucking fan! I knew that goddamn movie was a fucking pile of lies! Fuck you, Bill Murray! I'll see you in my torture chamber in about an hour, and you better be doused in molten tar. Yeah, I fucking figured. Hey, Bog, which booze did you bring? The Whistle Pig Boss Hog? Oh, God. What edition was it? What? What number was on the label, Bumblebee? There wasn't a number. Oh my god, that was the first edition. Why did you grab that one? It was in a glass display case with one of every edition of Boss Hog. Under lock and key. You broke the glass to get that bottle? Everyone knows his fridge is filled with nothing but cheap beer and liquor. You did save the bottle, right? Uh, at least there's a bottle. Oh, I dropped that. And it's in one piece? Roughly 16 pieces. So to summarize, you dumped out and then shattered a bottle of Whistle Pig Boss Hog first edition. Valued over $29,000. Well, that would explain this bout of crippling depression. Uh, here's a protein pack, bitch. Thanks. Wait, did you fucking break it? Yeah, it turns out particle accelerators and whistle pick boss hog bourbon do not mix. Probably never function again. I got glue, Prime. Maybe we can still save the bottle? I forgot to ask, how'd it go with a nuke? The what? You really fucked this one up, Ectotron, distracting me while his nuclear warfare in play. I didn't do anything! Man, fuck these guys. Fuck you too! Hmm? Bussin did make me feel good. Whistlepig Boss Hog Bourbon, the finest spirit on the market, the most exquisitely tasting spirit of all time. Get the bourbon that can save the universe. Be a hero. Be the boss hog. You think they're gonna go for it? No way in hell they'll sponsor us. But Whistlepig Boss Hog saved the day. Why could they not sponsor more episodes? Because they'll doom their business by associating with our cancerous program. Fuck! Someone needs to sponsor future episodes of this show before we get canceled. We're likely to get a taste of cancel culture if Brawl has any more TV time. I'm inclined to agree, but what are we going to do about a sponsor? I've got you covered, Prime. You see, this video was sponsored by Big Dog Forge, an NC-based 3D printing shop owned and operated by the two dumbasses who make this piece of shit show. Visit the link in the description below to be taken to their collection of Transformers toy upgrade and display kits, along with the listings for other franchises as well. Use promo code AHM1K for 10% off your total order. Holy shit, he's not joking! This is good shit they offer for dirt cheap prices! Ah! Oh! 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 Not this shit again. Just buy from Big Dog Forge already and we won't cancel the show. There, enough said. Fuck off! And for a limited time, you can kiss my hillbilly ass! <laughs> Bam! Alright. I don't know why that That's was. Part of the ad! Throw it in there!